roll call. Mayor Sellers? Here. Council Chair Woolley? Here. Uh, Clerk Bauer, I am here, and Deputy Clerk Sarah Elrafai is also joining us. The first motion on the agenda is an, an added item to approve, motion to approve Ed Plato as special counsel to the election commission. Any discussion? Uh, Madam Chair, Madam Chair, Madam Clerk, um, I did not see this item come forward, so I apologize that uh, I did not support it, but I'm unaware of it. So This is due to the late filing on a paperwork coming through yesterday, not having someone to represent the commission. Um, this was the option that was came up with today, so it was a last minute. Understood. Uh, at what rate? 185 per hour. Um, if you both agree, I will add that to the motion. Uh, I, think it should be, I think it should be part of the motion. Okay. The newly amended motion is motion to approve Ed Plato as special counsel to the election commission at the rate of $185 per hour. Are there any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Yes. Opposed? Motion carries. Next on the agenda is motion to approve agenda as submitted. Make a motion. Support. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion carries. Motion to approve the minutes of the October 1st, 2020 Election Commission meeting. So moved. Support. Any discussion? Hearing none, um, all those in favor? Yes. yes. Motion carries. Next on the agenda is the motion to accept the candidate certifications as presented by the city clerk. So moved. Support. The document that you have attached is as ordered by Judge Kenny. And that is what I will be voting on today is the amended document as ordered to do. I have a few words to say I would just like to point out that personally, I would like to vote how I'd like to vote, but I have a court order in my hand that's telling me how I have to vote. I'm clueless how any judge can tell me how I can vote, but unfortunately, to avoid any sort of contempt of court or anything like that, I will abide by the document. Madam Chair? Yes, ma'am. Um, just a question of clarification. Um, I don't see, uh, is, um, I know I, I saw an email earlier that Dan Bezzera would be added back to the roster, but I don't see him unless I'm overlooking it. So unfortunately, um, I've been advised that the court order stipulates that only Mayor Sellers be added back to the ballot. Mr. Bezzura would have to receive his own order in order for me to put him back to the ballot. I was incorrect in my statement earlier. And the reason for that he was challenged? Correct. Okay, so at this point in time then, um, Madam Chair, uh, Madam Clerk, um, is it Madam Chair, Chair, Madam Clerk for this purpose? You're either one is Okay. Um, so he, he is not added to this, then he would have the right under the law, we believe, to um, file the same uh, potential uh, request. Yes. Any discussion? Let me double check and make sure I did not receive any public comment. That's why I'm checking my phone. I'm not surfing social media or anything like that. Um, I did not receive any. Nothing has been received by the deputy clerk as well. Um, so we have a motion on the floor to accept the candidate certificates as presented. Um, all those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion carries. Next on the agenda, a motion to approve the consolidation of precincts with no change of polling locations for the August 3rd, 2021 and November 2nd, 2021 elections. 
Support. Or I'm sorry, a motion? Support. What this motion is, is um, if you are not familiar, is we are able to consolidate precincts during local elections. Um, for instance, the senior center will have, instead of two polling, three polling stations, they'll have two. Um, Eureka Heights will have one instead of two. This is something that we do because we are able to by law and it is a big money saver for the city. And um, we all know the numbers aren't as great during uh, local elections that we see at the presidential election. Um, our absentee numbers have grown dramatically. If you've been pulling absentee lists, if you're a candidate, you'll know that we've gone from when I first ran in 2013, we had about 3,000 permanent absentee. Now we're up to 14,000. So um, I, I'm sure we will have a good turnout of absentee, but I don't know what's going to happen at the polls. And this is our recommendation as we consolidate, as we've always done in the past. Is that, are there any questions? Sarah did provide a document of um, some numbers how the precincts will look. We will put this up on the website so that everyone can see how it will work. Nothing will, the, poll, the polling locations remain the same. The signage will be there for, you know, the precincts of at Taylor High 5 and 6, you know, they'll be, everything will be pretty much the same. It's just, there won't be as many workers because they're, they're not going to be necessary. Does anyone have any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor? Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Motion carries. Motion to authorize the printing of ballots for the August 3rd, 2021 city primary election and the November 2nd, 2021 city general election. Motion. Support. Several weeks ago, City Council did approve the vendor um, for the ballots. It's Inland Press, and they are, um, we've been working on them on quanti with them on quantities um, and, and such. So we just need this authorization in order to the final. This is the final authorization to get the, the ballots printed moving forward, and this will be covered for August and November. When do you send those ballots out? Um, we, we have to mail, by law, we have to legally send out military ballots on around June 18th, I think oh. that Saturday. So, I mean, I'm sure the printer is going to need several weeks to get them printed. We've already, we already know how many quantities and the printer is ready to go whenever we give them the file. So I just wanted to make sure. We, we have a little bit of a buffer of time. Are there any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor? Yes. yes. Motion carries. Motion to authorize the city, next on the agenda is motion to authorize the city clerk to prepare for and administer the August 3rd, 2021 city primary election. Motion to approve. Support. Basically, this is just a motion that we make at every election commission meeting. It gives me the authority um, by the city to run the election kind of silly because the state law mandates that I recommend. So this is just a formality. It's not like this is a formality on our end, but um, it is necessary. So does anyone have any comments, questions? I have a comment, I guess, question. You do have that authority. Right? Yes, to my knowledge. Um, any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor? Yes. yes. Motion carries. Unless there is any open business, 